let's see how quickly we can use the application.property file to put values and then access these values with the at value annotation. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, we have a REST controller and I've set up a request mapping for API slash V1 slash my value. Let's go to Postman and run this. And we get back our question mark. So we have the file application.properties and it's under the resource folder. And we can set values in there such as server.port. For example, I can set server.port to 8100. Let's restart this again now. And we'll see that our API endpoint is now available under 8100. So we can put all sorts of values in there. I'm going to add my dot value and just say hello world. I can now go through and I can access this value with a at value Spring Boot annotation. So the at value is part of the Spring framework. We'll put in dollar sign open curly brackets, my dot value, close curly brackets to access that. I want to set this into a variable. This is going to be a string. I'm going to call this string my value. So this will now set the value from the property file into that string. So now I can access this value. We have SL4J in here. So I can quickly say log.info. And I'm just going to say this value equals. And then I can very quickly simply say my value for the return. And let's stop this and restart it. When I run my value now, I get back hello world. So you've seen how quickly we can use at value annotation to get values from property files specifically the application.property file. There you go. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe. Check out my other videos and Udemy training classes. Thank you very much.